get better than that. Likewise. Take off. Oh. He's gone. Last week on the club. Um, you know, I'm, I'm wrapped to announce that I've uh, agreed to four-year terms with, with the football club and, um, you know, very exciting and happy to get it out of the way before the season starts and now concentrate on, on this year. For all the injuries I've had, it was probably the most, one of the most painful things I've had. That, the whole first night, just didn't sleep at all. Yeah, I think one of the things that we've been able to do is expose uh, the depth in our list. Um, having the, the Blacktown game two weeks before round two gave us a chance to, to test the depth in many ways and see some, some first year players in, in particular run around. Footy records, five dollars. Round one, Collier yeah, versus Hawthorne. Um, Coming to the G to see my son play footy, you know, I mean, what, what parent wouldn't think this is a special occasion? You know, but you know the kid deserves it. He's worked hard. He's um, you know, he's had he's had some um, a bumpy time to get where he's got to, and um, you know, I mean, this is his moment, and I'm so proud of him, and just can't wait to see him get his first touch of the footy. Cheers. So this is where it all happens. Scary, very scary. Uh, Tony and yeah, you're Tim. Tim, Tim, yeah. Tim. I'm Tim Payne and I'm here with my daughter Georgia, my son William, my son Charlie and my wife Michelle and we're here to watch our uh, boy Jackson play his first game of AFL footy. I got um, a phone call on, on Wednesday and uh, I, I knew that we were sort of hoping for some news that day and I um, got a phone home and spoke to Michelle and she said just quietly, don't tell anyone. Uh, he's been uh, he's been picked to play, so I immediately told as many people as I could. I was thrilled. It was it was fantastic news. Yeah. Hi, my name's Jan Seedsman, and I'm Paul Seedsman's mum, and I'm a very proud mum. I remember taking him to um, a tour around the MCG when he was a younger kid, and he was out in the middle and because there was no crowd and he looked at it and he, I said, what were you thinking? He goes, how amazing it would be to be out here and see that huge crowd and it's going to happen for him tonight. Didn't think it would happen that early. So I said, seize the moment. That was pretty special. There he is. Yeah. Footy's always sort of been part of our lives and I, mean, I never thought I'd be coming to the G to see my son play footy. You know, I mean, what, what parent wouldn't think this is a special occasion? Amazing. Playing your first game is never easy, um, and when you've played, when you come in and play against one of the better sides in the competition, it's um, it's even tougher, especially on a big occasion. But I don't, I don't think there's any, there's no easing into a uh, your first game as a Collingwood player. Um, I thought uh, Yags was probably a little bit overawed, um, but that experience will stand him in great stead going forward to understand. A, ma a massive intensity that he faced and uh, in front of that big crowd. And Seeds coming onto the field after being a sub and playing the last 40 minutes, he, I thought at times he showed that he was running away from guys quite consistently and um, he was probably could have been used a few more times. Um, I thought uh, Jackson played his role very well. The 18-year-old in his first match. It's a good kick. I think he contributed fairly well to our forward structure, which is exactly what he was asked to do. The VFL exists 
to prepare our players to play senior football. And that's one of the advantages of, of having our own VFL site. So in the end, you're there to encourage, develop. Those guys get to play and put their hands up for possible roles in the seniors. <laughs> Ground level players, you need to win the ball at ground level and then feed it out to the runners. The game structure that, that Tarkin's rolling out is, is similar to ours, and, and um, but as coach he has the reins on the day, but we're in pretty close contact before, during and after the game and um, he's been fantastic in that role. In a nutshell boys, we've got to want the ball more than them, okay? At the moment, they're probably a little bit hungrier. We've had a, a really good pre-season, really excited with the, the new players we brought into the club on the VFL list. Yeah, with Sharad, um, given the circumstances why he's playing VFL uh, over the last couple of weeks, the expectation for him is to, to really show some terrific leadership. Certainly, um, he's out, out here to, to perform well and continually put his hand up for, for when he's available for senior selection again. Uh, but it's also about winning back respect for the from the playing group and from the footy club. Yeah, look, it's Taz's first game, um, so for him, obviously we we're going to monitor his game time a little bit. But we expect Taz to to play the same way he does at senior level. He'll be hard on his opponent. We expect some really good leadership, um, some terrific voice from him, um, just to show show the young kids how to how to play the game. Yeah, I feel better for the run. It's um, you know it's a hot day, but it's, uh, I feel like I got through okay. Um, got four quarters out, which was pleasing. At least I'm on the right track now. Uh, we're we're lucky that we have our own VFL side of things, so it sort of runs in from the VFL side into the senior side. So I think we're quite lucky in that aspect, where we know the guys around us and the game plans are very similar. I think it's a, it's a good preparation, as you can see from the Hawthorne game. Um, it was a you know, frenetic game and I don't think too many guys who have missed a fair bit could sort of pop back in and play, play that type of footy straight up. So um, you just have to do what you have to do to get, uh, get back on the side. Still to come on the club. Luke Ball, one of the stars of the Collingwood Football Club. Oh, I love Luke Ball. It's gorgeous. I don't even have any kids here. <laughs> Put your thumb up if you want to score his phone number. Just, just discreetly. <laughs> This here's my propeller hat. I bought this one because I've got a pretty poor vertical leap and uh, thought it might give me a bit of extra elevation.